Okay, you got another surprise guest, so we're going to move uh, Chris Paul in the, in the morning minute. Hello. <laughs> Who's this? Good morning, Cowboys Nation. Uh, no, Chris Paul. <laughs> this is the owner, <laughs> Derek Jones. <laughs> what up, Mr. Joyner? What up, man? How you feeling? How you feeling? How you feeling? Man, I'm feeling great. Real good, man. The surprise guests and everything, including you. That's right. Even though my segment's coming up in just a few minutes. Yeah. I wanted to double down. Aw. Because I'm going to miss you so much, Tom. I'm trying. They gave me notes to be cheerful and be happy. I can't be happy. I had the best time of my life <laughs> on the Tom Joyner Morning Show. I had such a good time. When I first joined the Tom Joyner Morning Show 10 years ago, I weighed 165 pounds. Did you know? <laughs> <laughs> but I was living that good life for 10 years. Good life. <laughs> and it caught up with me. <laughs> caught up with me. <laughs> but I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss hearing Sybil and uh, my, hear Myra J in there. That's just breaking my heart this morning. Because we all, you know how we all going to do. Oh, man, we're going to stay in touch. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. We get together sometime soon, right? Yeah. We get together sometime soon. Yeah. Oh, man. man. It don't work like that. But I said, you know what? I'm going to call Tom up this morning because before he leaves on Friday, I have got to say something. Mm. Yes, sir. I've got to say this right here. December 27th to 28th, Huggy Lowdown at Chris Paul will be at Joker's Comedy Club in Augusta, Georgia. January 3rd to the 5th at the Punchline in Atlanta. January 17th to the 19th, the Improv in Raleigh, North Carolina. And February 22nd, Constitution Hall in D.C. with George Wallace, Rodney Perry, Talent, Mike Collier, and Mike Brooks. And Tom, I got the last plug I got to give, the most important one. I will be joining you on the Fantastic Voyage 2020 <laughs> cruise. That's right. Me and Huggy Lowdown have been booked already, so we'll see you on that boat. You're not getting rid of us, brother. <laughs> You're not getting rid of us. So go to blackamericaweb.com and book your cabins now. <laughs> Chris Paul, my man. My man, you the are the owner. greatest. Never get tired of people telling you you're the greatest, man, because right. people are telling you the damn truth, Mr. Joyner. They're That's telling right. you the truth, man. I, I'm thankful for everything. My wife loves you. My boys love you. We just love you. And we're going to enjoy living with you in Miami after Friday. <laughs> <laughs> the most amazing thing, uh, one of the most amazing things about the genius of Chris Paul is the NFL wrap-up. Yeah, man. And Ooh, you yeah. and you do the rhyme and everything overnight with all the games included. You know, that see, is just genius. It is, man. Yeah, Dedicated, man. Rider. I mean, hello you rider. know what? It's so easy to work hard hmm. on the TJMS because we know that the man whose name is on the TJMS worked even harder Absolutely. and still works hard to get us okay. here and keep us here, man. Yeah. You know? You, you you don't want to be lazy. You don't you want to get the work done and put the work in when you know the man at the top is doing the same thing, man. You're an inspiration. Absolutely. And even after we're no longer on the TJMS, what you've instilled in us will remain. And we will continue to work hard because we know if we run into you and we're slipping, you're going to let us know we're slipping. You okay. know, I don't understand why Donnie Simpson doesn't hate me because I purged this show. <laughs> you did, bro. I did. I went right in there and snatched Huggy Lowdown and Chris Paul from his show. He's still on the air. It's not like he was off the air. Right. <laughs> right. He's still on every day. And I right. just went in there and just raided his show. Right. And Good. soon after, he was off the air because you posted his whole show from him. <laughs> now he's back on the air. So that's the respect. He, that's respect he has for you, little Tom. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's love and respect. Oh. Uh-huh. And I've said before, man. Or it could be he's just laying in wait. (laughs) (laughs) I've said before, what you've done for stand-up comedy, man. Oh, man. You you love comedy. You love comedians. And it shows whether it's on the air on the TJMS or it's at the Sky Shows or on the cruise. You give so much love and so much respect. And you put them up there on a pedestal so everyone else can honor them and and treat them with respect, bro. And, and we just love you for it, man. All the comics who come through there, they all say the yeah. same thing, man. And the people you just surround yourself with, the funny chair people, I mean, of course we know the combination of you, Sybil, and Jay Golden. 
Yeah. But now all the, all the other great comedians you brought in there, man, and just continue to shine. And uh, on behalf of all the, comedians. I'll tell you the secret. I'll tell you the secret, and people have, people don't realize don't realize this is because we do radio, we have to do a joke and then just throw it away. It's not, and stand up comics don't do that. They have a no. routine <laughs> of what what their jokes are is what their jokes are. But the real good ones are writers, and everyone that I have surrounded myself with. Are writers mm-hmm. mm. Chris Paul, Huggy, Brad Sanders, Myra mm. J, all writers. Now, not just storytellers that can tell a joke, you know, but they they write and they write every day, mm. yep. every day, and that's the secret of 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 of, of, of the comedians uh, and the success that I've had with comedians on the TJMS. And and J. Anthony Brown was a reluctant writer. Yeah. yeah, he he could write. Well, he couldn't spell. <laughs> that was right. the problem. Right. Right. <laughs> That's why he had to write with a partner, <laughs> right. Rashawn. <laughs> right, Rashawn McDonald. Yeah. But you know what, Tom? And the, the other thing that you've done and, and, and made people recognize really is how really smart and intelligent these comedians are. People don't give comedians their due in terms of how smart they are because the 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 way they have to keep up with events and then to be able to write and craft a joke and, and put it out here on your show and, and keep it fresh every day. I know. And, and guys like Chris Paul, obviously, um, a real good example of that. And, uh, and you recognized it as well. Well, yeah. I, I've always liked it to describe this as organized chaos. Amen. Yes. <laughs> it's organized chaos because it, it's been such a pleasure. And you kind of let us, you know, do our thing. And it's like you're going to go crazy in this arena here. We're going to inform and entertain. That's what mm-hmm. I always remember what you told me about the show. Yeah. Inform and entertain. And that's been such a pleasure. Well, thank you. All right. Chris Paul is coming up uh, at the bottom of the hour <laughs> with this morning minute. Get a Jerry Hall. <laughs> <laughs>